She was Colorado's first female Speaker of the House, known for her innovative leadership on key state issues. She's Representative Lola Spradley, Mark Holtzman's inspired choice for Lieutenant Governor. What I like best about Mark is that he's willing to take the tough stance. He's not going to follow the political winds. He's going to do what's right for the state of Colorado. Just look at Mark Holtzman's life, and it's clear. He was destined for public service. By age 20, Mark had already become a top Reagan operative in one of the country's most critical states. By 23, he was the executive director of President Reagan's grassroots organization that promoted the Reagan agenda across the nation. At 26, Mark ran for the U.S. Congress with President Reagan by his side. I've known Mark Holtzman for nine years, and I greatly admire his energy and enthusiasm. I know Mark Holtzman will listen to you. He's an effective leader we both need. And though unsuccessful, Mark's passion for the Reagan ideal was unhindered. And with the world changing and communism crumbling, Mark headed to Eastern Europe and Russia, where he helped spread Reagan's vision of freedom, democracy, and capitalism to fledgling businesses and governments. But Mark's heart was never far from home, from America. And in 1994, he planted roots in Western Colorado, where he still lives today. Quickly, Governor Owens tapped Mark to be Colorado's first Secretary of Technology, where he helped create thousands of high-quality, high-tech jobs for our state. And then, as head of the University of Denver, he helped lead the effort to build the groundbreaking Rocky Mountain Center for Homeland Security. Today, Mark Holtzman is our conservative candidate for governor. He's the courageous candidate who stood squarely against Referendum C, fighting to protect taxpayers. Lola and I were the only candidates in this race that showed the determination to stand up to people that wanted to raise your taxes. We were opposed to referendum C and D because we felt a $5 billion tax increase was wrong for Colorado. Mark is the credible taxpayer's champion who will restore Tabor spending caps and return the money unfairly held back by referendum C with the largest tax cut in Colorado history and Lola and I are the only candidates in this race that have proposed a $1.1 billion tax cut. We're gonna return that money to the working families of Colorado. How would you like to have that money back? He is the strong leader fighting to beat back the devastation illegal immigration has wrought on our state budget. 400,000 people living illegally in Colorado, costing us at least $600 million a year. It's an outrage. We must defend Colorado now to stop this insanity. As governor, I am going to end taxpayer-funded benefits to people that are here illegally in Colorado. And together with Lola Spradley, they are the team who will fight for the issues that matter most to our families. We're going to win because we stand for principle, we have a vision, we're all about ideas. We have the passion, we have the empathy, we have the agenda for Colorado's future that's gonna make a difference. It is time for us to realize that we're too great a nation to limit ourselves to small dreams. I do not believe in a fate that will fall on us no matter what we do. I do believe in a fate that will fall on us if we do nothing. I learned from Ronald Reagan that there are no limits to what we can achieve, that our only boundaries are the barriers that we set for ourselves, that the human spirit and innovation and hope and optimism that's always present can be unlocked by the right political leadership and the right type of inspiring vision. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Holtzman.